Hey everyone, welcome back to another World of Warships Blitz video. So today I've got the Prince Heinrich up. The Tier 7 German Battle Cruiser. Oh. I was struggling with this ship for a little while. It's not my play style. It, it just kind of doesn't fit my play style very well. I've gotten better with it, understanding when to push, when not to push. But occasionally I get myself a little too excited and, you know, I get myself into trouble. But let's talk about the ship real quick. Uh, what a silly elite bonus this is. You get the secondary gun specialization, which is the one I've chose. Obviously, get the reload times down on the secondary manuals and the autos. Or you get elite torpedo operator, which makes no sense to me. This is a secondary focus ship, and you, you, you go for it. So this one gets a secondary overload, too. You get two of them, and you get a couple sonar ones, and obviously auto secondaries. Things I struggle with with this ship, or this class anyways, as I'm doing this grind, I'm a little more used to the battleship line, the main battleship line, which is a tankier... You know, they're just tankier, and and I, it, it's, like I said, they kind of suit my play style a little bit better. Uh, 40,000 hit points, not terrible for Tier 7, but the Citadel protection and damage reduction, it's just not that German beefiness. Uh, fire and flooding resistance, torpedo damage reduction on the low side, but that's normal for the German ships. Got yeah, fairly quick at, uh, you know, 27.5 knots. Doesn't accelerate horribly at 18 seconds. Uh, five degree uh, a second max traverse speed for tier sevens, not bad. And and basically an average turn time, in my opinion, of 14 seconds. You get these 380s, reload every 22 seconds, almost 13 kilometer range. You know they're not the most accurate things at long range, but they're they're very good guns up close, and that AP just smacks it. You know, was that 1650 for uh, main battery alpha on your AP? And and the turret traverse isn't terrible at six degrees a second. You know, all the work though, as you guys know with these ships, secondary focused. 150 millimeter manual secondaries with uh, not quite seven and a half kilometer range. Re, uh, not quite seven and a half kilometers. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, almost eight kilometers of range with a uh, just over seven second reload time. Now I know these secondaries you can switch between HE and AP. I tend to leave them on HE and take the consistent damage over these what I consider sketchy AP penetration power of manual secondaries on German ships. So I tend to leave the uh, HE loaded for these uh, manual secondaries. And then you get these 105 millimeter auto secondaries, reload every three and a half seconds basically, and you have a little over six kilometers of range on them. Um, you know, they're pretty nice. You get the Elbing torpedoes, four on each side, 50 knots, sea mines. Just dunk them out there, and you know, somebody always seems to blunder into them for some reason. Uh, your AA is absolute garbage, but your surface detection is really nice at under eight and a half kilometers. And we'll go into my build here. Obviously I'm running secondary mod here for extra far, uh, secondary range on my autos and my manuals and a little bit better dispersion on them. What do you guys want here? You guys want steering or a little bit of acceleration? Either one works for me. And in my opinion here, uh, concealment is the way to go here. You know, you're wanting to, really wanting, if you can, pull off ambushes with this ship. So, getting yourself into an early good position to make a strong push is why I run in surface detection here. Um, supplies, I mean, you guys have seen my surface detection builds. Uh, High-grade coal, improved crew rations, and refined diesel. At some point... I will have the Schlieffen, and I will be moving Hipper over to the Schlieffen line. Here I've got a very basic build. 
I don't even know where I pulled this guy off of. They, they put him on this ship, honestly. Because of the precise aim. Don't have precise aim on this ship. So, I mean, you know, you would be running fully prepared here. Um, but besides that, the big one, close quarters combat expert. And then when you get, get to it, APCS, got to be the way to go. So, this is where I'm at on the Schlieffen line. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be running Hipper on it eventually and moving Sheer or, uh, I got Sheer and Luchens now. So either one is going to go on to the grosser curve first. But this is what, like I said, this is where I'm at on, on the uh, line. Uh, I'm going to keep working up. I'm afraid to go to Zeton though, because, uh, it scares me. But uh, I've got an interesting game up. I probably pushed a little too hard, but I made it work. So I'll get that guys up for you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. And one last thing, I almost forgot the camouflages. Uh, I guess I got this during the early release of this line. The industrial camo for it. Main battery firing range, and manual and auto secondary firing range, and more importantly to me, minus 4% surface detection. Um, the historical camouflage is, is pretty nice, though, with hit points, main battery firing range, secondary range, torpedo range. I mean, it's okay. But uh, that's two camos that I see for this ship. And, of course, one of these uh, free camos would work just fine, especially with that surface detection. Super nice with this ship. All right, what do we got? Colorado, Francesco, Nagato, West Virginia, Astorius, Atlanta, and a FR-25 on straight. Nagato, Shornhorst, Brooklyn. I really don't want to push into A cap, but I might have to. Question is, where's the destroyer? Since we don't have one, did we get a destroyer on A cap with us against us, or did we, is that on C cap? Well, at least we got one cruiser and chances are great we got the destroyer. Let's send our tor. <laughs> Let's send out these slow-ass torpedoes and see what happens. We just got detected. All right, there's West Virginia, the Storius. We'll put shots out on him. All right, so we definitely have the destroyer over here. West Virginia is getting almost into secondary range, so let's just push. There's the FR-25. So we take one torpedo. Right, Fiji should have him. We'll pop our secondary overload now. I know I could be shooting AP at this thing, but I kind of like the HE a little bit better on the manual secondaries. Dunk out some slow ass torpedoes. That should be him. Alright, we got B cap now. Again, I know I can switch over to AP. Ooh, I got a torpedo hit on him. Cheeky. I can allow the island. That's the question. He's turning out, I think. That FR-25 is like going ham right now. Alright, 
four seconds left. Alright. 30 seconds on a reload. Kinda don't want to give him a broadside yet, though. Get some secondaries off. Let's get a... See if we can roll them. I got a heal coming up. I got a ship behind me at least. Alright, there's our heal. Alright, we're gonna get torpids into them. Nice. Alright. Nagato. That damn Z, that 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 damn destroyer is still. Let me pop some sonar here and see where I see where he's at. Cause Jesus. All right, that's a cruiser problem. and you can pop a heal for me so I can eke out a little more damage. Alright. Secondary overload up. Come on, heal up, my friend. Heal up. Uh, just for shits and giggles, we'll drop the torps out that way. Cap, so this game's basically over. Now, not the brightest uh, move on my part of, of full send with the Prince Heinrich, but eh, it works, so that's all that matters. Pick the iPad back up. He might, he might be venturing over here and do a B cap. I might be able to get at least one more pot shot off at him. Yeah, I gotta give that guy credit, man. He went. Uh, well, from what I saw earlier, he was he was all over the place. Let's see what the damage is here. You know, I'm finally starting to do, do better with this ship, but I really, uh, really shouldn't have pushed that hard. There was that Massachusetts game that was an absolute tragedy that the feet had just rolled up. A couple torpedo hits. Destroyed three, not bad. Like I said, a little bit of too much full send, but uh, it worked. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe see 
what to do and what not to do with this ship. But that that's what we'll call that gameplay.